Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C++ Programming Series. Our topic for today is about the if function statement and the relational expression. Right now, we are on our lecture number 7. So in the source file, we can right click on here, then point to add, then you can click new item. Afterwards, you can click the CPP file and under the name, we can replace this with uh, some data underscore comprog2 underscore lecture 7 and then we can click add and right now we have the file which is uh, the CPP then we can magnify or zoom to 200% so that it is clear for us to see what is going on in programming. Okay, let's do the code. So we have the head. And uh, we have the neck. And then we have the body. Okay, last time we used the STD. Uh, see out, that's it std in and the std um, end line so right now we are not using those because I, what I mentioned in uh, lecture number 6 that instead of using that from the word using we're going to identify right now the algorithm and the last uh, course of uh, the algorithm in programming which is the using uh, namespace std okay so instead of using this no need to use that because we are using namespace std right now and all of the program that we're going to make okay so let's proceed with the main body of the code so we have integer So this is our topic. Now what we need here uh, to identify the if uh, statement, it should be look like this. This is what you call the if statement function. When you see the open and close on uh, beside the code if that is considered to be a function. So inside the function we are going to put a relational expression. Okay? So just like uh, we have here, if una is exactly equal to dalawa. That's it. And after that, what you need to do is that you're going to make a display right here. So we have uh, C out una. Then we have is exactly equal to okay so we have the one and that's the headline okay that is how we make an if statement okay so if there is an if statement and there is a relation on the relation we have una integer is exactly equal to the other one. It is exactly equal if you type two numbers that are considered to be the same. Okay, so after the function, everything is considered to be true. There should be no false. If it is false, then it will go out. That is the idea. So what we need to do is to copy and paste all of this to make it more, to have a lesser time in uh, coding okay that is the idea so there is a uh, six uh, relational expression in C++ that's why we need to put six also okay after that we're going to replace the relational exactly equal 
So we have not equal. We have greater than or less than, greater than. Then we have uh, less than equal and greater than equal. That's it. So we need to replace the text here. So we have here is not equal, not equal to. And right here is less than. Okay. So that is less than. This is greater than. So we have here is less than equal. And we have less is greater than equal. So that is the idea. It will display if it is true and if it is false, it will not display. Now uh, to do that is that we need to input a series of uh, integer kindly input number that's it then we have we need to copy this so to make it more faster so we're going to replace only second Okay, then we have seen Okay, so that is the idea and don't forget to return the result return zero to the integer main Okay, let's check this if it is working So click debug and start without debugging Okay, uh, we have here the result. So input first number two, input second number one. So two is not equal to one, one is greater than one, two is greater than equal to one. Okay, so let's uh, put here because uh, expression and kindly is uh, connected to each other, concatenated in programming. So let's put here a backslash n. So it will uh, not be connected let's check it again debug start without debugging and right now it's already been for back so let's put one for the first number and one also for the second number so one is exactly equal to one one is less than equal to one one is greater than equal to one because they have the word equal that's why it will display and again these are considered to be true all of them and those faults are not being displayed. Now let's make another another input, like uh, let's move to one and three. Okay, so one is not not equal to three. One is less than to three, and one is less than equal to three, and that is good. And let's input another. Uh, run first. Then let's make this nine, and the second number is one. So 9 is not equal to 1, 9 is greater than 1, then 9 is greater than equal to 1. So all of the 6 um, relational expression with the display has been true. That's all for today. Thank you and good luck.